Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. And things are doing pretty good for us, guys. We have a net income of 20 energy a turn. Our integrity is noble. Our might is unsurpassed. And once we get a planetary council going, we've got 56 votes. So um, everything's in pretty good shape here. We have a bunch of Isles of the Deep that we've been able to um, procure with our new green philosophy. And we are getting into all the exploration. We have found Mount Planet. And Mount it recovered. And it's a supply pod with a Unity rover. Awesome. Let's go ahead and have it explore that pod. There's Morgan Transport. So they probably have this entire island covered in bases. And as I said before in the last episode, we need to get all of our colony pods over here as soon as possible to try and head Morgan off from building some more colonies. So let's go ahead and send this Isle of the Deep over in this direction. And this foil... I think we have a colony pod somewhere. I don't remember where though. We've got... Oh, here it is. Actually. Let's go ahead and have that board the transport. And this transport. We'll head back that, that way. And we have our alien artifact. Let's go ahead and link it to the network node. Shall I upgrade all future plasma sentinels production to ECM plasma sentinels? Model at no cost. Sure. The substructure oh, of the universe thanks, Java. regresses smaller and smaller components. Behind atoms we find electrons, and behind electrons quarks. Each layer unraveled reveals new secrets, but also new mysteries. Academician Prokhor Zaharov, for I have tasted the fruit. Advanced subatomic theory. <laughs> Shall we upgrade all of our obsolete Plasma Sentinels to the new ECM Plasma Sentinels at a cost of 100 energy credits? Almost 2,000 available. Sure. Let's do the thing. Indigenous life forms. And we have an Isle of the Deep. What do I care for your suffering? Pain, even agony, is no more than information before the senses. Data fed to the computer of the mind. The lesson is simple. You have received the information, now act on it. Take control of the input, and you shall become master of the output. Chairman Young, Essays on Mind and Matter. Um, climactic Research, the university, builds the virtual world. Enemy project initiated. Okay, so it looks like everyone's building the Citizen Defense Force. Production complete. But we still have the Planetary Transit System. We've got the Empath Guild being built. Request confirmation. I mean, we could just go ahead and start rocking out all of these wonders. Um, how are we on stuff? Looks like all of them are building the Citizens Defense Force. Let's go ahead and hurry that. There we go. That should make things a lot easier for us. Bunch of people are building biology labs. We need to go ahead and get another colony pod built. It's all about the expansion, guys. Which is weird considering what the Gaians represent, but at least we are um, having a friendly relationship with the planet. And everything's pretty good here. Let's. Indigenous life. Uh oh. Mine worms everywhere. And there's the tippy top of Mount Planet, so it is an active volcano. And we have got so much territory to colonize, guys. University is wanting to talk to us. And they want advanced subatomic theory. Alright, then you need to give us advanced military algorithms. Men has killed men from the beginning of time, and each new frontier has brought new ways and new places to die. 
Why should the future be different? Colonel Corazon Santiago, Planet, a survivalist guide. And this gives us the ability to seek power, which is what the, um, the Spartans are all about. Construct bunker order, proposal, uh, repeal UN Charter, reinstate UN Charter, which we actually need to be have, get the ability to make UN Charters first. Obsolete Gatlin foil to the new Gatlin skimship. And <laughs> Lady Didra, I must confess I am a bit strapped for cash. If you can spare me 716 energy credits, I can make generous payments of 12 credits per year for a hundred years. Eh, we got the money for oh, that's half of our Tell you what, let's go ahead and lend half that. Our friendship is a strong one, Lady Deidre. Long may it remain so. Oh, Lord. Uh-huh. Under attack by Sister Miriam. And they want to help. Ouch. 75 en energy credits, huh? No, not enough to go to war with the Believers. And they want ecological engineering. We say no. I'll let that pass for now, but you may in time have cause to regret such arrogance. Lady Deidre, your impractical green economics are causing irreparable harm to legitimate business interests. I can only hope you will not completely wreck our economy with this nonsense. Well, there we go. Like, sorry, we got stuff to do. Maximum population reached. Velvet Grass Point has entered a golden age. As the writhing, teeming mass of mine worms swarmed over the outer perimeter, we saw the defenders recoil in horror. Stay calm. Use your flame guns, shouted the commander, but to no avail. It is well known that the mind worm boil uses psychic terror to paralyze its prey and then carefully implants ravenous larvae in the brains of its still conscious victims. Even with the best weapons, only the most disciplined troops can resist this horrific attack. Lady Deidre Sky, our secret war. So there's the Citizens Defense Force, guys. Counts as a perimeter defense at every base, which is the equivalent to the Hive. And now the university is working on the Empath Guild and the planetary transit system, we need to start getting these built. Request confirmation. 196. Got to spend money to make money, right? So we'll go with the transit system first. Well, wait, we got seven turns until we complete that. What about... Let's go... Request confirmation. The Empath Guild. That seems very Gaian. And we got colony pods. We had a golden age here at Velvet Grass Point. Golden years. And you just hang out right there. And are we did we find another island? There's islands all over the place. 50 energy credits. I think we did two islands, as a matter of fact. Native life activity to increase dramatically. Awesome. That's more chances to get mind worms. Although planet's native life is based, like Earth's, on right-handed DNA and codes for all the same amino acids, the inevitable chemical and structural differences from a billion years of evolution in an alien environment render the native plant life highly poisonous to humans. Juicy ripe grenade fruits may look appealing, but a mouthful of organonitrates will certainly change your mind in a hurry. Lady Deidre Sky, a comparative biology of planet. Cool, so we have a biology, biology lab and we can actually make mind worms now. Symbols are the key to telepathy. The mind wraps its secrets and symbols, 
When we discover the symbols that shape our enemy's thought, we can penetrate the vault of his mind. Lady Deidre Sky, our secret war. Nice. And that gives us uh, that gives us a big advantage. Um, so the Empath Guild allows us to contact any leader, gives us an infiltrator in every faction, and we get 50% votes in elections for planetary governor and supreme leader. Since we have comm frequencies with for all other active factions, we can now, if we wish, convene the planetary council to vote upon pa planetary policies, including the election of a planetary governor. To convene the council, use the council button on the comm link status display. So, let's go ahead and contact Lal. Welcome to planet, Lady Deidre. You bring many unique talents to our new world. Permit me to reintroduce myself. I now style myself Lal, brother of the peacekeepers. And on this world, I plan to defend the humanitarian principles of our original UN Charter. Formidable power. Only 41 energy, though. My enemy, Sister Miriam, has ruthlessly attacked my holdings. What are you... No, believers have done me no wrong, though they're being a bit prick. Your information on intellectual integrity intrigues me. Are you willing to exchange it for a copy of my world map? Sounds fair. And caution me about my synth metal garrison prototype. That's not good. An emergency has arisen at one of my bases, Lady Deidre. Lives are at stake, and information on Centauri empathy, <laughs> empathy is required immediately. Can you help? For oh, they, she doesn't. Ha they don't have a hundred credits. Sure, they they're nice. Boop. The fragmentation of this mission has been a disaster, Lady Deidre. Won't you sign a treaty of friendship and help me reunite the others? It's a lofty goal, brother. I'm with you. Excellent. This treaty demonstrates that planet is large enough for both your environmental initiatives and for my humanitarian initiatives. It also opens the door for trade and commerce. You are a wise and benevolent leader, Lady Deidre, to have perceived the lasting benefits of a free society even in these difficult times. My hat is off to you. So, these, um, Lull's probably going to be right alongside us. Let's go ahead and get the council going. Select a motion to propose before the Planetary Council. Elect a Planetary Governor, which a new governor is appointed, which gives him some benefits. Or repeal the UN Charter and the atrocity prohibitions are lifted. Let's go ahead and elect a Governor. Yoink. We've got votes for LOL. Um, from... Well, LOL gets actually more vo or votes naturally because of the UN. And Morgan's voting, but we've got Santiago and the university going with us. So we shall vote for ourselves. And now we're governor. You've been elected planetary governor. As governor, you hold an executive veto in the planetary council, which can block all but unanimous votes of the remaining members. You gain plus one energy and commerce transactions at each base from the increased commerce global agencies bring to your bases. Your planetary bureaucracy, the nominal world government, provides you with infiltrator information on each of the other factions. Yay! Good deal. Good deal, good deal. So let's keep on getting colony pods out. Sea formers are building a tidal harness here, which increases the energy production of this square. Bot recovered. There's more 50 credits. I wonder what would happen if we started an earthquake right near Mount Planet. That would be bad. I would assume. Oh, speaking of which, let's look at. So the believers have a base right here. Oh wow, that that's a formidable UN headquarters, planetary transit system. That's what they're working on right now. That's pretty good territory, I have to say. But we always need to keep expanding, guys. That's our uh, that's our goal for sure. 
more colony pods. And I haven't really found a good place for another sea colony. I only like I only want to build them here and out in the middle of nowhere kind of thing, but Garden of the Deep is going splendidly. Um let's go with Hmm. Because we have this landmass explored. Send you over there. Golden Age begun. Another golden age? Production complete. Ooh. Golden Age begun. Production complete. Golden, golden Age begun. <laughs> awesome. I like that a lot. And we got five turns to the planetary transit system. Let's go ahead Request confirmation. and spend 140 ed energy credits and secure that for ourselves. Indigenous life forms. And we just captured some mind worms with our UN rover. Mod recovered. There's a xenofungal bloom. Oh, another landmass. As distances vanish and the people can flow freely from place to place, society will cross a psychological specific heat boundary and enter a new state. No longer a solid or liquid, we have become as a vapor and will expand to fill all available space. And like a gas, we shall not be easily contained. Sister Miriam Godwinson, but for the grace of God. We are a gassy people. So, the planetary transit system. Any new bases you found begin at population level 3. One less drone at all base of populations level 3 and under. So, all of these new bases are going to have some good starting populations. Production complete. Which is stellar. And we have a new uh, artifact at Silverbird Park. Until quite recently, spider silk had the highest tensile strength of any substance known to man. And the name silk steel pays homage to the arachnid for good reason. Commissioner Pravin Lal, UN Scientific Survey. Silk steel armor, so more defensive units. Awesome. So we'll get this guy to board a ship. And where do we send? Where do we send? Um, we already have colony pods heading that way. Let's go ahead and send them over here. We got a plasma sentinel. Hold the line there. Track down all of these mind worms. And we're just causing all of the xenofungal blooms around the indigenous life form. Oh dear. That is a lot of native life. So it looks like the the world that we went when we created the game just created nothing but huge arch archipelagos. Or archipelagos. Chairman Young convenes the Planetary Council. Repeal the UN Charter. Um. Santiago Votier, Miriam Votier, Yang Votier. All the familiar faces are voting for it. And we're the deciding vote. And we say. No. Measure fails. Indigenous life form. Mindworm boils spotted near memory of Earth. Now I guess we're just gonna keep this one here. Once we get another um what is it? Another colony pod. We'll see what we can do. Life form. And put it on that boil. And this is an opportunity to get some more. All of those were failing though. Oh, check this out, desert. I think we may have found another uh, landmark. More Morgan bases. Don't. The Isle of the Deep is really not a single creature, but a colony of thousands of individual tubules. 
an aquatic vector of the mindworm which terrorizes planets' continents. Over its lifetime, certain tubules secrete a tough glue-like substance which hardens to form the characteristic shell that floats the colony and creates the appearance of a rogue island. Lady Deidre Sky, a comparative biology of planets. Miscellaneous Empath increases energy production in fungus squares. And we get the Centauri Preserve and the Xeno Empathy Dome. Interlude from the Book of Planet 2274. Uh, yes, Lady Deidre, I did say thought waves. Dr. Scott's wrinkled smile is otherworldly, a grinning death's head. The mind worms deliberately, and probably the fungus itself. Even after transient human thought patterns are isolated, a complex wave dynamic remains, and there is good reason to believe that there's at least some mentation is taking place. You're telling me this stuff thinks, you say half-heartedly, not quite prepared to buy into the idea. Uh, if so, it's a remarkably different manner of thought from that of humans, but the base of cognitive feedback loop is present. Dr. Scott leans forward and gestures toward the graphic with his data link stylus. The most striking thing is the loop's ability to jump from creature to creature, each fungal spore acting as a synapse. The spores and worms, as individual creatures, are insignificant, but the feedback across a fungal bloom or a mindworm boil is impressive. How long can it keep jumping? Now your curiosity has peaked. Has it crossed the threshold into self-awareness? Uh, difficult to say. In theory, a powerful wave could reverberate clear around the planet, but the distances involved would make true self-awareness problematic. Perhaps a quasi-sentient state similar to our dreams. So there are, um, men in Gaia's stepdaughters. Hmm. Production complete. Production complete. Governor of Forest Primeval requests permission to work on the Xeno Empathy Dome. Sure. I'm okay with this. And we will send this new colony pod over to Silverbird Park to catch a ride on the Isle of the Deep that we have parked here. And... We've got another one. Another colony pod. Where do we send you? Oh, we didn't even explore this island. Or this landmass. Looks like it's either going to be a separate island or connects to that one somehow. Uh... Let's just hang out for right now. Ah, our ship has arrived. There's, ah, there's Morgan Industries main base. Bot recovered. And we just helped them out by planting some farms. See, we're, we're nice neighbors. And we are not having any luck with training any of those mind worms. I think this might be the desert. Severe hailstorms destroy all solar collectors near memory of Earth. That's unfortunate. Looks like everyone's building biology labs and energy tanks. Gatlin shock troops. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Um, can we make mind worms? Not yet. Here. Let's make a transport foil. Doing good there. And we have a former that's free. Let's head send it to memory of Earth to start rebuilding the solar collectors. And... Hmm. Where to build here? We can't build on Xenofungus yet, can we? Invalid base site. Curses. Um, maybe right there will be good. Just have some, got some decisions to make. I think all the mine worms have been cleared out, though. Over here on this part of the island, near Mount Planet. Oh, we have found Lord's Believers. Production complete. And fortunately, we got that going. I think we're done at Silverbird Park too. Um, we lost a former over here. Let's head to the preserve. Oh dear. Hello, mindworm. 
can we... I want to save... Save our buddy. So, a good portion of the Lord Believers are sea-based. Which is... weird. Did not expect that. Ooh. That was a close fight. Production complete. And we will have you do 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 board that transport. Actually, we'll send these guys over to Silverbird Park, and both of them can catch a ride. And I know you're building the transport foil right now. Let's go ahead and get you rocking out of biology lab over here at the. Uh, Velvet Grass Point. And I think we may have it done for the day, guys. I mean, we've got a lot accomplished. We have the UN Council now. Um, everything's looking good for the Gaians right now. And we found all the factions. And other than the Lord's Believers being seabound, which could lead to a whole new bitch of, or a bunch of problems, we're... Uh oh well, let's go ahead and finish this off. Wants us to declare war on the Morgans? No. And you want Superconductor? No. You are a wretched unbeliever, Lady Deidre. Hehe. <laughs> and your sins cry out to God for punishment. In the Lord's name, I now pronounce vendetta upon you that by destroying your so-called democracy, I may redeem the souls of your followers while there is still yet hope for their salvation. Oh, we're at war now. Well, let's, uh, start... Man, don't start a war with a transport foil. Lady Deidre wins the first guy in battle victory. <laughs> Colonel Santiago of the Spartans did that over 150 years ago. Combat report. Still... Alright guys, well, we are at war with the Lord's Believers, and we've got plenty of Isles of the Deep to uh, make war with her sea colonies. But we will go ahead and end it here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.